Good morning. I'm Rahel Solomon with your morning digital news brief for Monday, October 8th. Officials in Allentown have evacuated buildings near the scene of a four alarm warehouse fire. A fire swept through the Rakin building on North Franklin Street last night. Authorities also believe the four story building could collapse. One firefighter was taken to a hospital with burns to his hands. And police are trying to figure out what caused a tragic limousine crash in the upstate New York town of Schoharie. 20 people died when the vehicle failed to stop at a stop sign and then crashed into a parked SUV. 18 people in the limousine and two pedestrians were killed. The National Transportation Safety Board is assisting in the investigation. And the NTSB also investigating a helicopter crash in Sussex County, Delaware. Authorities say the chopper lost power and crashed into a soybean field in the town of Bridgeville yesterday afternoon. Fortunately, the four people inside of the helicopter, including two children, were not hurt. Okay, let's get a check on the forecast now with meteorologist Katie Fellinger. Hi, Katie. And good morning to you, Rahel. Well, we have been keeping a very close watch on what's going on with Michael. It is a tropical storm as of this morning, but very likely to gain strength to not just one, category one, but potentially category two status just as it makes landfall, most likely along that Florida panhandle. But then beyond that point, there are always question marks. There is a cold front that's going to come along and help to turn this storm system and steer it out to sea. But how soon does that? happen. That's the big question. At this point, it looks unlikely, but not completely out uh, out of a guarantee situation where we would see that turn off to the, the east down over the Carolinas. So we would likely stay out of its crosshairs, but we'll still end up with a pretty wet Thursday with the cold front coming through and probably some tropical moisture getting fed in along it. For now, there will be a few spotty showers throughout the day. The high hits 76. This is the farthest cry from a washout, but it is dreary for Columbus Day, dropping down to 69 overnight. And a look ahead in the seven day, we've got it all 60s, 70s and 80s. Very warm through midweek. Then comes that cold front, which lives up to its name. And by the weekend, it'll actually be downright chilly. Rahel? Hmm, quite a ship there. Thank you, Katie. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Rahel Solomon. Good morning.